A bad accident recently happened on Mercedes Island. A pedestrian crossing the road got struck by a bus driven by a drunken driver and suffered life-threatening injuries. Now the driver has been brought to court. Well, we shouldn't forget to mention that this story is completely fictional. Except the end of it. The German Lawyers Association, JuraWiki, has held the first court trial in Second Life. With real attorneys, judges... And, of course, a court reporter, Rube Rabiani. Many interested residents had the chance to follow the trial last Sunday. JuraWiki is a well-known German internet platform for lawyers. They deal with legal issues in the virtual world as well as copyright problems, such as those we've been reporting about in the past few weeks. This particular case dealt with a drive-by accident, just as it might have happened in real life. It started out as a fateful encounter between a drunken bus driver and a pedestrian. As soon as everyone had seen what happened, a regular trial began, including cross-examinations, the presentation of evidence, questioning the witnesses, and so on. The whole trial lasted more than two and a half hours and featured testimony from the victim, a joint plaintiff, witnesses, and a lot of contradictions. Halfway through the trial, additional footage was shown that showed a different perspective and forced one of the witnesses to retract his testimony under oath. Why all this hullabaloo? The entire case was an experiment designed to show ways of dealing with future cases, especially seeing as our virtual world is expanding every day. It provides young lawyers with practical training, explains real-life lawyer Karina Raymaker, organizer of the experiment and judge in this case. I often take a look um, out of our own country and also to uh, the U.S. too. And uh, in the uh, legal education in the U.S., there is a long tradition of having mood courts, meaning uh, simulated uh, trials. The goal of our experiment was to uh, demonstrate it's possible to use this kind of role play in legal education. Jurists um, do in their um, do in their trainee stage, just um, do in their uh, do, do in their practice uh, at court, could use such a role play to train for their real work without um, causing any damage on real uh, person. SL lawyers definitely need to practice before going to court, just as pilots or any other professionals would. So, was it more a role play featuring all the different aspects of the trial in the virtual world, or was there anything left open? I didn't expect it to be that realistic. It is possible to use Second Life in education, not only um, putting students uh, in, a kind of, uh, in a kind of room and uh, holding a speech then, but uh, I think one of the main aspects of Second Life could also be uh, doing education by simulating the job, especially for the... Uh, legal purpose, but also by other subjects too. This could be a successful prospect. As a result, the victim, Bernd Selt, wasn't able to work for six weeks. He had several fractures and cuts, but fortunately he didn't suffer long-term damages, so he will be able to return to his regular life. The driver, Nushi Mardinov, was forced to pay a fine of 160 linden dollars and lost his driver's license for a period of 10 months. The innovative experiment raised public awareness. 48 people participated in the voice chat, and the additional video footage received dozens of clicks. Maybe real Second Life problems can find resolutions in virtual trials. This has been Rube Rabiani. Now back to the studio and our beloved hosts. By the way, Chris, from now on you better stop being so aloof, because now I know how to take people to court.